Hey everybody, my name is Owen, the warrior of the East, in case you don't know me. And I'm from Ireland, living in a cave. And today I want to make a video to share with you how, how I personally get very healthy and cleanse strong, get my kidneys working, get my body strong and healthy. And I'm getting fitter and stronger all the time. Getting more muscular, more toned, more ripped, gaining gaining muscle and weight after being injured for quite a long time. So today I just want to show you just one of my little routines. Um, it's like for example, I'm just having some uh, have some water <laughs> with apple cider vinegar. It's 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 very alkalizing. It's very good for your digestive system and healthy bacteria. It's very cleansing. It's fantastic for flushing your system, especially when taking with water. Obviously, you do take it with lots of water. And each morning, like for today, for example, I've been up for maybe around two and a half hours. And what the two forms, the most powerful forms of healing are water fasting, where you just eat nothing but drink water. And the second one, which is even more powerful, but shouldn't be tried by everyone under any condition because it's very detoxifying. And so is water fasting. It is dry fasting. So dry fasting is more faster and powerful for healing the body because the body heals when you free up the energy. Eating food takes the most energy. Okay, the digestion, the um, the absorption, the utilization, the, the elimination, all of that takes the most energy of a human body every day, okay? By far, typically. Typically by far. So when you free up energy by not eating, such as water fasting, you free up a colossal amount of energy and you heal. You regenerate. Cleansing is healing. Detoxification is healing. They come hand in hand. But you can also heal without detoxifying, in my opinion, by taking things like herbs and nourishing foods, superfoods, juices, wild foods. So lately I've been checking out my urine, my pee, down there, you know. <laughs> <laughs> so um, that's a sign that your lymphatic system, which is your sewer system, is actually filtering, eliminating the waste from your body which is really good and lemons and anything like acidic is like a drain pipe cleaner because your body is a whole system of tubes don't forget millions of miles of tubes capillaries veins arteries venules arterioles all of these all of these words simply describe a big tube or a small tube lemons are both very alkalizing like the apple cider vinegar but they are acidic, like the apple cider vinegar, on the outside before the minerals get absorbed. So for that purpose, it can be used for cleaning the board. I would clean my board with some apple cider vinegar today. Apple cider vinegar is great for dandruff. You can use it for... Um, you can purchase that at a very good price, by the way. Um, my link below called Herbs for Specific Conditions on my, on my website. Um, I also have my own herbal website, which you can check out below. You can get some awesome things to rejuvenate, harmonize, replenish, and vitalize changed my life to be honest but, um, today I've been up for a few hours and I hardly had anything to, 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 to eat like nothing to eat I mean and just a little bit of water with some kidney herbs for my kidneys a little bit of kidney formula you can get that under herbs for specific conditions too at a really good price and a little bit of that kidney tincture formula this has made my eyes better because I had eye issues like eye strain for like nine years, ten years. It's basically better now. <laughs> so happy about that. Can't believe it is. Basically, I've, I've forgotten. It's snuck up. It's snuck away, and I've forgotten. It's gone now, basically. And that's a mixture from eating less at the very tail end, but from taking these and other eye stuff for the last eight months, nine months. The last nine, ten months or something like that. I've been taking, yeah, stuff like that. Uh, it's so amazing. I'm so happy. I can't believe it. My my life has changed because I've been taking herbs. And I know many, some people on the internet might say herbs are a scam and like supplements are a scam, but they're not. They they just don't know their stuff, to be honest. No offense. I'm not to love to them as well. They're focusing on what's worked for them. But a lot of raw foodists um, or people who are talking about raw food or the 80 10 10 diet and like fruitarianism and the mucus diet healing system or 
or natural hygiene, they might say herbs and supplements don't work. But the truth is, and they do, of course. And the reason why they do is because the law of cause and effect. And that simply means when you do something, there's a consequence, either positive or negative effect. Like, there's loads of stuff in our food, and a lot of herbs and supplements are simply like things that you get from food, but in high proportions to have a specific effect on a specific part of the body. So that's why they work. That's the reason why there's, an eff there's that particular effect. So I've been like clearing up like a little bit of, you know, when, when, as you cleanse, you get a mucus, guys, like a little bit of, <clears throat> you know, you get up a little bit of that stuff. And that's the body cleansing. Um, it's very good for you. And like, I feel like so fresh minded and, and like cheerful and positive and happy now. <laughs> because the crows are raiding my compost heap. Hey you, get out of my garden, stop raiding my compost. <laughs> and here's my lovely tomato plants. But if anyone's sick, you really gotta like cut down, change your diet to a degree. Let's see what these guys are up to. <laughs> I think I wonder if the sex season. Just a few minutes ago, I saw like I saw two little flies like suddenly land on the table, and one was on top of the other, like humping it from behind. <laughs> There's my delicious watermelon. Watermelon is a, is a massive kidney flusher, by the way. It'll flush your body, cleansing, and it, red things are usually very fl cleansing and flushing. They're strong. It's the red, it's the red base chakra. Down there, guys. Down there. But um. This is fantastic. It's a kidney herb. Watermelon is a kidney herb. A herb is something that's a strong, powerful effect on a particular part of the body. So, and oranges are very high in, are high in vitamin C, around 70 milligrams per 100 gram of fruit. And lemons are also high in vitamin C, but they're more aggressive a cleanser. Some people put a little bit of juice in their enemas, and I've done enemas. If you're sick, or even if you're not sick, you could always try it. Enemas or clean your cola. I take herbs for cleaning my GI tract too. So it's very, very good. Must take some today because I've forgotten to take some the last good two days, actually, to be honest. But each morning now I've made such good progress. So I see sediment in my pee and a little bit of mucus in my pee, and that's the way you should because if you don't, it's your, your acid system, your lymph system is backing up. It's what clears the acids and cellular waste and other toxins and environmental pollutants out of your body. So it's vital to have the flow, the, the tap flowing. You want the flow out of your body of waste, nutrition in, toxins out. And that primarily happens through your kidneys, from breathing, carbonic acid from breathing. <laughs> no, it's my orange. Oh, that's my skin. You give me back my melon skin. <laughs> and also pooping is a form of elimination. Um, and your skin is like your third kidney. Uh, when your kidneys aren't working properly, then you'll see people with acne, psoriasis, blemishes, spots, all sorts of skin eruptions, which is the way the body is intelligent, intelligent trying to get the tap flowing out. It's like yin and yang. There's two polar opposites in life. There's in and there's out as well. There's masculine female characteristics. So most people in today's society, we're just eating all the time. We overeat because in our history, in the past, we evolved with eating sporadically. Um, we weren't eating um, all the time and stuffing ourselves. We just There just wasn't the food. And as a result, our body had a constant chance to have the free energy to eliminate and do the cycle of outgoing out of our body. Toxins are eliminated and spare energy to heal, regenerate, rejuvenate, make things more efficient and to fine tune our organs for greater greater functioning, higher levels of functioning of the brain, clarity, inspiration, thoughts, ideas, memory, clarity of thinking, insights, learning lessons, and of course the physical body of like just being more like a wild animal, which are like, they don't get degenerative diseases, and they're very fit, healthy, and strong. They're like incredible. As you know, like they're just incredible prowess, whereas humans, most humans are very inactive these days. They don't do much. Um, they're physically weak and they get sick early, they age very rapidly, or at least younger. And it's because we're eating too much and eating the wrong foods. There's way too much ingoing and our, our outgoing is hampered because our organs are weak and clogged, our systems are clogged. It's just the way it is. It's, I've no, there's no negative 
judgment of me in any of this, but I'm just trying to share how you can get well again. So it's easy to get, it's simple to get well, but it takes a bit of learning and practicing some new things a little bit. Like even all this stuff, like these. These are like kidney herbs and all sorts of other stuff, like my garden's a herbal medicine cabinet. <laughs> I made another video about that, uh, around, around eight videos ago probably, you can see it on my channel wall. But down the lines are kidney herb, the root is for your liver, and the upper part, the leaves, are for your, your kidneys. You can make tea or juice them. But I highly encourage like lightness of eating. There's a hundred year old man, or 101, and he does marathons takes them around seven to nine hours, I can't remember which, <laughs> I think it's nine hours, but he's 101, like come on, that's like pretty good for a 101 year old, and you know what his secret is, they ask why are you living, why are you able to do this at this age, and he says, and he's got good health, he says because he eats, he eats small portions, and his friend says he just eats a, small, a child's portion, and this is what I'm talking about because and this is the premise of why water fasting and dry fasting are so healing because you use the intelligence of the universe in your cells like you use the, your body's natural infinite wisdom and intelligence constant harmonizing, cleansing, rebuilding you use that energy not on a whole lot of other stuff but if you have loads spare to do all the healing and regenerating and cleansing that you need so as a result you don't get a build up of sickness like the num number like imagine a number of 1 to 100 you're not going up like 50 51 getting worse 52 your level of like toxicity and cloggage of your tubes like I was mentioning earlier is like going up it's going down and of course we'll die and we're meant to die we're genetically made to die and <laughs> but just by the way we don't die of course we just another life, another life, another life, another body, another body, another adventure, another journey, another experience, deep experience, deep experience, deep amazing experience and adventure, amazing exploration. So I want to die, like I want to pass on, uh, life is an amazing amount of time, it's perfect, a day is a brilliant amount of time to do stuff, it's just not too long, not too short, it's great, same in a month, same in a week. Um, but a day, a day and a life, is just very good allows chapters in your life. Each decade is brilliant, think about it. Like from the age of 10 to 20 you, you change so much. But then even between the age of like 20 to 30 you change so much too, you grow up a lot. At the age of 30 to 40 you grow up a lot too, more people have families then. You go through shifts in your life. And often in this day and age what happens is in the first few decades we get, we get sick. <laughs> We get increasingly more adding the numbers of damage, cloggage, waste, toxins because we don't learn the stuff necessary in school and we're eating an unnatural diet of too much and too much toxins too. So then some of us will learn when we're in our 20s or 30s or 40s or something that the tools and ways to lower, the, lower back the karmic debt, now, the numbers. And you get well and you regenerate, you heal, you get more vitality, energy. So. That's just the way it is in the inter internet information age at the moment. But I'll take off these now to be honest because I'm going to do some naked sunbathing now in a few minutes. So, uh, but um, yeah, that's what I'm going to do. So every morning, I, every time you, you sleep, by the way, you're, you're dry fasting and naturally healing and regenerating from what you did in the day. So if you do a whole like big high numbers during the day of like eating lots of weird stuff and like bad stuff, so to speak, then you sleep it off and you need to sleep more to regenerate and cleanse from that. So that's why you'll see how much or little sleep you need, kind of. And how well you wake up in the morning, you're more refreshed or really tired. But don't get too serious about how well or you wake up or not. Or really tired or fresh. It's okay. I don't usually wake up too fresh, I suppose. I used to when I was on all of our foods for a number of months and I just did green smoothies for like 11 days. I'd wake up like in one second, one split second, I'd wake up fully refreshed, clear, ready to go. It's optimal performance, it's crazy. Never really experienced that again. <laughs> not to worry, not to worry. So yeah guys, you can get well and it's all that it's a few little things, just to synopsize really quickly to say. It's about 
intake and out, outgoing. So you want to cleanse and detoxify, which is outgoing, and the intake is stuff like fruits, um, fruits, herbs, plenty of water. Do sometimes a little bit of water fasting or dry fasting, even for if it's an extra one hour after you wake up before you eat. Because some people eat the minute they get to bed. But you can extend your, your nighttime fast, break fast, break fast. You can extend that like the way I'm doing that today, but that's like two, three, four, five hours, six hours, whatever you want. Or you could start your fast early in the evening by going to bed, like stop eating at five, for example. Or you could simply eat smaller meals. But judge it carefully and wisely depending on your body your body and what you need if you're slim or if you're fat if you have lots of spare energy from being fat or like stored energy or if you're too slim you might need more food um or if you're sick or if you're not sick if you're fit or if you're not fit or if you're active or if you're not active if you're working or have children or if you don't so just be wise and sensible a lot of people who are young are single practicing practicing very cleansing diets and like strict protocols but it'll be a bit different when they have a family and they're in their 30s or 40s or 50s, like 30s or 40s, okay? Because a lot of people become fanatical and imbalanced and that, it's easy to do that when you're a single person because you're less sort of grounded, you're more like airy-fairy a little bit. So, uh, yeah, there you go guys. So, this is a really good thing. I, I, I'm, I haven't, I've only had this a few weeks now, but I think I've gotten positive results. I've read amazing things about it. I'd recommend MSM. You can get it from my herbs for specific conditions below. You can get all of these things I mentioned on the same website. It's really fast, cheap delivery. Yep. All right, guys. So, I hope this video has been helpful. I'm sure it has. And uh, if you're sticking around here, you've obviously enjoyed it. So I'm glad you've enjoyed it. And intake is also juices, so juices, deep breathing, fresh air, sunlight, intake all of that, intake the barefoot, the earth's energies, um, drink lots and lots of water because it helps, helps um, elimination, um, herbs changed my life, they got me better because I was sick and even the raw foods couldn't do that. Need to, I needed to bolster myself, but not everyone becomes so depleted and deficient and physically stressed and exhausted. So most people need to detoxify. Some most people needed a combination of in and outtake, nourishing, replenishing, and eliminating. So do that. Let me know how you write back to me in another few weeks. Uh, let me know how it's going for you. It'd be great for me after making this video, given going to the time to make this video just be fun for me and be enjoyable and make me happy I'd feel happy to hear back and see how it, if it's helped and uh, yeah connect get, getting back to nature and simple things and I think that's it really to be honest I'm not now to say so I hope this video helps and blah 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 <laughs> see you in another video and lots of love and take care okay have a great day